When faced with unprecedented challenges, Chino Valley Fire District continued to deliver exceptional service, finding viable solutions that Chino Valley residents can depend on. During a year that brought with it an increase in medical response calls, challenges resulting from a global pandemic, a continued threat of wildland fires due to drought and Santa Ana wind conditions, an ongoing recruitment process, and the transition to a new fire chief, your Chino Valley Fire District responded with the same professionalism and fortitude that has served residents of this district for more than 100 years. It's been a challenging year and I'm pleased to say through it all, Chino Valley Fire continued to provide high quality emergency response services to the cities of Chino, Chino Hills, and the unincorporated areas of San Bernardino County. Maintaining that high level of service has required flexibility and innovation. Almost from the beginning of the pandemic, ambulance patient offload delays, known as APODs, were negatively impacting public safety in San Bernardino County and communities across California. When patients cannot be admitted to the hospital, such delays can cause disruptions throughout the entire emergency response system. When you have more patients than you have ambulances to get them to the hospital, there's a problem. As a board, we voted unanimously to acquire four ambulances to be staffed by Chino Valley firefighters. Through an agreement with American Medical Response, we are now able to assist them during times of high need and deliver patients to the hospital in the most effective way possible. We secured an agreement that ensured we are reimbursed by AMR for staffing, equipment use, and fuel. The move to add ambulance units to the fleet was done under a special agreement with AMR that may change an outdated state law that prevents fire departments from transporting patients to the hospital if they were not doing so prior to June 1980. With the retirement of Chief Tim Shackelford last year, the fire district's new fire chief, Dave Williams, was called upon to testify before the State Assembly Emergency Management Committee to address concerns related to APOD and other challenges within the EMS system. Williams served as interim fire chief for four months before officially taking on the role of fire chief in December 2021. Chief Williams has done a great job during the transition. Under his leadership, we have added ambulances to our fleet and helped advance our effort to update laws pertaining to ambulance patient offload delays by testifying before the California State Assembly. He is now heading our efforts in building a new fire station located in Chino Hills and continuing our efforts to provide exceptional emergency services to the residents of Chino Valley. As a fire chief of the Chino Valley Fire District, it is a privilege to build upon the many great things established by my predecessor and to continue the work of the board of directors and our personnel to ensure the residents of the Chino Valley have the very best of emergency response services available today. Today, the Chino Valley Fire District is financially strong with an unwavering commitment to excellence. The board has ensured financial stability through innovative programs such as the public-private partnership with AMR, the district's 115 retirement trust, and numerous other cost-saving strategies designed to keep residents safe and healthy. During the course of the pandemic, the district implemented an online meeting strategy that allowed meetings and training sessions to be conducted virtually using existing video equipment and televisions at each station. We implemented new technologies throughout the district to operate safely and efficiently during the pandemic and beyond. Being able to meet virtually helped keep everyone up to speed in an ever-changing environment without sacrificing the valuable training and information sharing that our fire personnel and residents depend on. In February 2022, the Board of Directors of the Chino Valley Fire District and the City of Chino Hills City Council agreed to the transfer of approximately four acres of city-owned vacant land for the purpose of constructing Fire Station 68. The new station will be the fourth within the city and the eighth station within the district. Station 68 will be located at the intersection of Soquel Canyon Parkway and Pipeline Avenue and is expected to be in service in early 2024. An eighth fire station in the district will help improve response times and provide the needed resources during emergency incidents. In addition to the new station and ambulance capabilities, we continue to install AED and trauma kits at no cost to local businesses, community groups, and partner agencies, all thanks to the generous donations made to the Chino Valley Fire Foundation. 
The Chino Valley Fire Foundation, in partnership with the fire district, has donated more than 30 AED and 348 trauma kits to local businesses, partner agencies, and organizations. Our firefighter paramedics continue to train the public on how to use an AED and items inside of a trauma kit to increase survival rates from sudden cardiac arrest and trauma. CVFD firefighters also continue training in high-performance CPR to further increase survival rates from sudden cardiac arrest. In addition to the improved response options with the new ambulance fleet, the district will also improve emergency response times through enhanced technology at the dispatch center. Automatic vehicle location capability allows dispatchers to see the closest unit to an emergency in real time, which allows for a quicker response. In addition, the district is now implementing CAD-to-CAD -CAD capabilities with the Chino Police Department, which will improve response times and streamline the emergency call routing process. Your fire board is committed to ensuring that we have policies and programs in place that serve you well during any type of emergency that you or the Chino Valley may face. We remain fiscally responsible and accountable to the communities we serve. We look forward to continue meeting the challenges of the future with viable solutions.